Yeah. You. Looks like a freshly frozen grill. Ah, perfect. Niels is fishing a variant of the classic fly Sunray Shadow. It's a simple and effective fly. He's fishing the fly without adding any movement because the water temperature is quite low. The fly should swing across slowly. I don't pull it, I don't strip it or anything. The Sunray Shadow, it's very alive in the water. And I don't want to go like this with a rod. Because many times we can, when we can see the fish down the water, the fish actually have the, uh, the fly in the mouth. But then you pull it out. Unless the fish take it very hard. I don't like this technique on the river like this with this kind of fly. But the technique can work when you fish with more bulky flies like the Icelandic Snelda. Which is not a fly with a big wing that needs a direction to fish. It's more like a stiff fly. And he will just, if you let the fly sink backwards, he will just go like this. Instead of the sunway where the body, the body and the wing, which you say this is a, the wing here, the body will go down when you let it go and it will look like this in the water and it's not my experience, it's very effective for catching salmon. We're gonna talk a little about what we call line mending. When we fish classic downstream fishing, we need to mend the line sometimes, either to get speed on the fly or to slow it down. Here we have a static current that will pull the fly in. The line will simply be pushed by the current and carry the fly all the way in. The fly needs to move in a certain speed in order for the fish to get interested in it. When we cast him over, you can see, if I don't mend him now, the line is going to go down in the head of the fish first. And what we want to come to the fish first is a fly. So we need to straighten the line out. I lift my line and I cast him across. And then I mend the back of the line. And I even let it sink a bit before I start to fish it. Now the fly is starting to fish and the line is straight towards the fish. And I move the rod tip towards my own bank in order to get the fly to fish all the way in. And now when it starts to hang, the drift is over, I can start to strip the fly in a bit to keep it moving. If I want the fly to fish deeper, I can even cast more upstream, like across here, and mend it even more up. And now I give it loose line, the fly is sinking. I mend it one more time, the fly is still sinking. And now I tighten the line and it starts to fish now. And now it's really going deeper, the fly. And it's fishing all the way in. And when it starts to slow, I move it here a bit with my fingers to keep it alive, because many times the salmon actually take when it comes in my own bank. I can also make it fish slower on the surface by casting more downstream, like this. Now it doesn't get any time to sink, and it's moving right away. I mend the line a bit inwards now to keep the, spy, the speed up on the fly. Mend inward again on the back of the line only. The water here is quite cold, so I have chosen to add a sink tip to my floating line to get the fly further down to the fish. In the end of the line, 
I have a Sunray shadow variation called the HKA Sunray, which is very light and I believe will make a lot of turbulence and really get the fish to take. So we are going to do our classic downstream fishing. Cast over the current and let them swing in. And I'm going to strip the line in front of this drop off, which is quite deep. And it's very, most likely the fish are going to lie here. So this is what we are going to hit up now. Right now I'm doing quite short casts and this I really like because I have a very good feel with the fly. I can easily control it how I want it to fish compared with having a long line. I can feel the fly working now and I'm gonna, when I can feel it starts, it stops moving. Then I'm gonna start stripping the fly slowly to keep it moving and there, nope, there was definitely a fish hitting it there. Now it's a good thing to be a bit patient. Not cast right away. Give the fish a minute or two. If it sees this fly again right away, it will know it's the same thing. But giving it one, two minutes, I've often had the fish. Get him to calm down again and then do the cast and maybe he will take. Here we go. Short line, I can feel the fly working. But the fish doesn't take the fly, at least not straight away. Yes. That's joy. A bar of silver. <laughs>